Are you feeling numbness in your hands and feet, experiencing constant fatigue, or noticing unusual swelling in your legs? Poor blood circulation could be the hidden culprit behind these issues and more. In this video, we'll uncover the six most common causes of poor blood circulation, from lifestyle habits to underlying health conditions, and how addressing them can significantly improve your overall well-being. By watching this video, you'll gain valuable insights into recognizing the signs and symptoms, taking proactive steps to enhance your blood flow, and ultimately boosting your energy levels and quality of life. Don't let poor circulation hold you back any longer. Stay tuned to learn how to take control of your health and feel your best every day. Cause 1. Sedentary Lifestyle One of the primary causes of poor blood circulation is a sedentary lifestyle. In today's fast-paced world, it's all too easy to spend long hours sitting at a desk, commuting, or lounging on the couch. When you don't move enough, your muscles don't contract as they should, which means your blood doesn't circulate efficiently. This can lead to a host of problems, including varicose veins, swollen ankles, and even more serious cardiovascular issues. But don't worry, incorporating regular physical activity, even simple exercises like walking or stretching, can significantly improve your circulation and overall health. Engaging in activities such as brisk walking for just 30 minutes a day can make a huge difference. It doesn't have to be strenuous, the key is consistency. Try taking short breaks throughout your workday to stand up, stretch, and move around. Not only will this boost your circulation, but it will also improve your mood and productivity. Remember, every little bit helps. Your body is designed to move, so give it what it needs and you'll feel the benefits in no time. Cause two, Smoking, another significant cause of poor blood circulation is smoking. The chemicals in cigarettes such as nicotine and carbon monoxide damage the lining of your blood vessels, making them less flexible and more prone to plaque buildup. This restricts blood flow and can lead to serious conditions like atherosclerosis, where arteries become narrowed and hardened. It's not just the lungs that suffer from smoking, your entire circulatory system is compromised. Quitting smoking can be challenging, but it's one of the best things you can do for your circulation and overall health. Within weeks of stopping, your blood vessels start to regain their normal function, and your risk of heart disease begins to drop. There are various resources available to help you quit, from nicotine replacement therapies to support groups and counseling. Taking the first step to quit smoking will not only improve your circulation, but also enhance your quality of life. Cause 3. Poor Diet a poor diet is another major culprit behind poor blood circulation. Consuming high amounts of processed foods, unhealthy fats, and sugars can lead to the buildup of plaque in your arteries, increasing your risk of hypertension and heart disease. Foods high in sodium can cause water retention and lead to swollen veins and restricted blood flow. Essentially, what you eat plays a crucial role in how efficiently your blood circulates throughout your body. To enhance your blood circulation, Focus on incorporating a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins. Foods like leafy greens, berries, and fish high in omega-3 fatty acids can help keep your blood vessels healthy and clear of plaque. Making these dietary changes not only improves circulation but also boosts your overall health, giving you more energy and vitality. By being mindful of what you eat, you take a significant step toward better blood flow and a healthier life. Cause 4. Obesity Obesity is a significant factor that contributes to poor blood circulation. Carrying excess weight puts additional pressure on your blood vessels, making it harder for blood to flow efficiently. This increased strain can lead to complications such as high blood pressure, varicose veins, and even heart disease. Moreover, obesity is often associated with a sedentary lifestyle and poor dietary choices, both of which further hinder proper circulation. Losing weight through a combination of healthy eating and regular physical activity can greatly improve your blood flow. Even small reductions in weight can make a big difference. Activities like walking, swimming, or cycling can help you shed pounds while enhancing your circulation. Additionally, adopting a diet rich in whole foods, low in processed sugars and unhealthy fats, supports overall cardiovascular health. By addressing obesity, you're not just improving your circulation. You're investing in a healthier, more active future. Cause 5. Diabetes Diabetes is another major cause of poor blood circulation. High blood sugar levels can damage your blood vessels over time, leading to reduced elasticity and narrowing of the arteries. This condition known as diabetic angiopathy can significantly impair blood flow, particularly to the extremities like your hands and feet. 
Poor circulation related to diabetes can result in serious complications, such as neuropathy, where nerve damage causes pain, numbness, and even infections. Managing your diabetes effectively is crucial to improving blood circulation. This involves maintaining a healthy diet, regularly monitoring your blood sugar levels, and staying physically active. Incorporating foods that help stabilize blood sugar, such as whole grains, vegetables, and lean proteins, can have a positive impact. Additionally, regular exercise not only helps control your weight, but also enhances your cardiovascular health. By keeping your diabetes under control, you protect your blood vessels and ensure better circulation, reducing the risk of severe complications. Cause 6. Stress Stress is a commonly overlooked cause of poor blood circulation. Chronic stress triggers the release of hormones like cortisol and adrenaline, which can constrict blood vessels and increase heart rate. Over time, this constant state of heightened alertness can damage your cardiovascular system, leading to issues like high blood pressure and reduced blood flow. Stress also often contributes to unhealthy habits such as poor diet, lack of exercise, and smoking, which further exacerbate circulation problems. Finding effective ways to manage stress is essential for improving blood circulation. Practices such as meditation, yoga, and deep breathing exercises can help calm your mind and relax your blood vessels. Regular physical activity, even simple things like taking a walk or engaging in a hobby, can also reduce stress levels. Additionally, ensuring you have a strong support system and taking time for self-care can make a significant difference. By addressing stress, you not only improve your mental health, but also support better blood circulation and overall well-being. In conclusion, poor blood circulation can be caused by a sedentary lifestyle, smoking, poor diet, obesity, diabetes, and stress. Each of these factors contributes to the overall health of your cardiovascular system, and addressing them can lead to significant improvements in blood flow and overall well-being. By incorporating regular physical activity, adopting a healthy diet, quitting smoking, managing your weight, controlling diabetes, and finding effective stress management techniques, you can enhance your circulation and reduce the risk of serious health issues. Remember, small changes can make a big difference. Start by making one positive change today, whether it's taking a brisk walk, adding more vegetables to your diet, or practicing a few minutes of meditation. Your body will thank you for it. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe to Mind Body Mastery for more health tips and advice. Thanks for watching and take care of your health.